Hello everyone, I am Sachin Kalia. Welcome to my channel Cloud Pipers. So far, I have created various video demonstration related to Azure DevOps and Azure with Terraforms. Recently, I have published a video demonstration which was related to recovering a blob and file using a soft delete for Azure Store. So I would highly recommend you to go through with this video, video demonstration to enhance your skills. In today's video demonstration, I have brought up something new for you, and that is ARM template deployment what if operation, which is in preview right now. And if I say a bit about this, it assists you to deploy your Azure ARM template. You can preview the changes that will happen. As your resource manager provides the what if operation and it lets you know how the resource will change if you deploy this template or a specific template. The what if operation doesn't make any changes to the existing resources. It means it won't affect on to already provisioned resources and will let you know that this is what you are about to provision which exists into a specific ARM template. If I consider or try to relate it a bit, it is somewhere identical to Terraform plan. If you remember or have uh, got a chance to go through with Terraform plan, it advises you that there are set of resources which exist into a specific template. And once you apply, once you look at the plan, then it assists you to these are the resources which may be in effect or which may be deploying once you go go to go through with terraform apply command so we'll try to apply this into our demonstration for this purpose i'll be creating a pipeline which will be entirely into the yaml where we will have two stages one will be for build and one will be for the another will be for deploying that right so let's get started I, I am into my pipeline. I believe you are familiar enough with the, how can we reach up to this level. For those who are new, go to the pipeline. I was earlier on that window, create a new pipeline. Here I will identify which Azure repository I should use. So for now, I'll be using Azure Storage DevOps. There I have kept few files, right? and we'll choose this option by default start the minimal pipeline that you can customize to build and deploy your code so as you can see it will bring something yes we have a small set of instruction which exist here and for for my demonstration i have already created a pipeline through yaml i'm copying it and paste it so once I have done all these things, I will let you know how does it work and what are those steps which we have, which I have defined within this entire YAML. Okay, so here we do have a trigger where it is pointing some branch and including everything. This is the structure. We have stages and in a single stage, we in this section, we will have two stages one is for build and another will be for deploying it right and the firstly i will go to the build one in a single stage we have a build and where we can define jobs and in, into a job if i see then we do have a build job which is further having a pool of vm image um i have a window 2019 for my purpose and then we do have steps and each steps section may have various tasks as you can see over here there are one two three tasks i'll be describing you all of these the first one is the azure resource group deployment and what it does actually it is taking an input where i have defined as your subscription and mine is the vs enterprise connection and the action which i am performing create or update resource group i have already created a resource group into my azure portal 
with name of Azure Talk RG. Azure Talk RG is our Facebook page where you can see the latest information about various uh, latest and the various Azure related stuff. The location which I have chosen for my purpose is West Europe and the template location is linked artifact. So here we do have a new way also to link our JSON file which we have created for our purpose. CSM file and the CSM parameter file in when we uh, work into an enterprise uh, level solution generally we prefer this approach and how are we pointing our JSON and the parameter file. So this is the way system.default working directory it goes into the default working directory and identifies these both of these files which must persist and the deployment deployment mode is validation it means it will validate whether you define ARM template is valid or not. What you can do if you click onto the setting, you would have, if I click here onto the setting, it should open generally. Yeah. So this is what you can fill from here as well, which I have already defined, right? So as soon as you click onto the setting page, then it comes in. Okay, going down a bit. So here we have opt PowerShell option. The task is related to PowerShell where we are utilizing some inline script. What it does, it is installing easy module resources and the required module is this, the allow pre-release force. We are forcing this and for the current user we are utilizing. It will install the, it will install this module which we will be utilizing. The another one is the Azure PowerShell was Azure PowerShell task. What it does here we have to define Azure subscription and this is my subscription. The script type is inline script uh, and what I am doing into the inline script I am setting up certain parameters and what are those parameter resource group name Azure topology the template file I am utilizing this. This is another way to define your template. So both of these uh, pers persist into my repository. The mode will be incremental. And here is the core of this video demonstration where I am using get as your resource group deployment what if result. So we are passing all these values which uh, we have encapsulated within a parameter and passing this. So we will get a result and will be utilizing Azure PowerShell version as a latest version. So if you click over here, it opens that. We do have another option of script file path that you can define also. And here I do have only one subscription with me. So it populates me. And this is what I have created as a service connection, right? So all of this so far so good, I believe. So going down, uh, this is the next section of this where I, I have stated earlier, we do have two stages. One was for build and this is for deployment. Another we do have a deploy job. What it does here is a small tweak. I try to kept it uh, and it is all about putting a condition or placing a condition once the build is succeeded and the variable state is equal to production. So there can be a question in mind where I have defined this variable. So if I click, if I click over here variables, and this function, right? So I have defined one variable or you can put your part as per your need. Again, if you see the pool of images I do have window 2019, the last step is we do have steps where I have defined one task which is again deploying it and most of the syntax is identical to the same uh, which I have defined over here into the build section. But there is small change as you can see we had we have 
deployment mode as a validation over here but in this section we are keeping it incremental so every time whenever this build pipeline executes it will be incrementally deploying entire stuff so i believe uh, it uh, the things are clear to you and saving it and run setting up as your pipeline let's put something new what if pipeline with yeah committing directly to the master branch it will have uh, azure pipeline hyphen 3 ml it is creating the pipeline let's see how does it work so it has started deploying the stuff it is not yet started once i click over here generally it takes couple of minutes to execute let it execute first starting the initializing so will identify the entire stuff so this is the main where we will keep an eye the azure powershell so far it is running as anticipated there is no bottleneck so far once it executes uh, in, at this section if you remember or correlate uh, with your code whatever you have mentioned into your pipeline it is installing the powershell at this level and once the powershell got installed then it will move to the next level where it will identify the stuff whatever we have mentioned into json template it identifies that uh, what uh, resources we are about to provision so let's wait for that generally it takes time to install all this stuff uh, it has succeeded now the main core area is um also waiting for that how does it prompt you though i have tried prior to this but let's see uh, what happens at the runtime. So you can uh, see into the most more details like uh, it is connecting to AZ account, service principal tenant and all. Somewhere it is authenticating entire stuff for its own purpose and setting a Azure context uh, of my subscription ID, which I do have. So getting the latest status uh, here, this is the beauty. Uh, which I wanted to tell you that that deployment. Let me get back to that table. So what it does, it is telling you that the resource and the property changes are indicated or symbols, and the deployment will update the following scope. The scope, if you remember, scope is all about. Uh, there are various level of scopes. Uh, uh, for our purpose, the scope is subscription level and this is my subscription resource group is azure top rg so it will apply here the microsoft storage account this will be our storage account and on basis of the arm template which we have created and all of this information will be deploying right so at the bottom if you can see uh, it says that resource changes one to create and three to ignore so you can ignore rest of the things uh, but the core part is uh, one resource will be created so this is uh, this is one of the major uh, feature which microsoft has introduced there can be a small uh, there can be small issues because it is still in preview so may vary your result as well but uh, as far as i have uh, tried with uh, various a JSON template it worked well for me so it is deploying everything so uh, so far so good uh, let's uh, go to the azure topology which i have created already as you remember if i refresh this we should have something generally so let's uh, see into the deployments whether do we have something or not so at 521 it has succeeded yeah, it is India standard time right now.
So if I see the deployment, we do have one Azure storage. This is what we have created through the Azure DevOps. Perfect. All right. Here, here it has one storage account which we have created. And so my core purpose was uh, to set up uh, certain commands or set up a condition within deployment. Once the build is succeeded, then validate that uh, specific variable. Does it persist or not? In the same way, if I go back to the Azure PowerShell, the what if commands, how does it work? It lets you know that these are the certain set of resources that will be applying or that will be provisioning so take care of them uh, so this is the core and here i conclude my video demonstration and i hope it will be beneficial once you apply it at your level and get benefited of that yeah thank you